What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. The CAO Italia Chow. Uh, this is a little Robusto that we're trying today. Uh, it is a Nicaraguan cigar. Uh, the wrapper is Habano Maduro. The filler is Italian, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian. And the binder is Honduran. So quite a mix of different uh, tobaccos. The construction of the CAO Italia is a dark wrapper. Uh, you can see there's m multiple veins, but very small veins. Uh, the, it's a stout little firm cigar, uh, and it looks like it's a double cap. And it looks like it could be box pressed because it's not perfectly round, but it's not completely boxed. It's like they started it, but they didn't. I'm not sure on that, uh, but it's not completely square. And on the pre light, you get a, a clean draw, uh, a smooth, and has notes of chocolate and hay. Stay tuned for the first third. Back with the first third of the CAO Italia Robusto. I would also say the draw on this is quite firm. Uh, slight sweet and light oily uh, pepper starts to build on the end of the finish. And about 10, min 10 minutes in, you can see that it doesn't burn as evenly as other cigars. Still has a medium flavor. Earthly notes are coming forward, uh, almost uh, like a chocolate. Uh, stay tuned for the second third. Welcome back, everybody, for the second third of the CAO Italia Robusta. Uh, the flavors are giving off more of a nutty taste. Uh, chocolate, even uh, oak flavor. The pepper is still there, but it's on the back of the palate. It's not as strong as it was in the first third. The construction's holding up pretty good. The ash is pretty well. Uh, you can see it still has a uneven uh, burn. Might need a touch up from time to time, uh, but it's still holding up. The draw is still very firm. Uh, if you're not a fan of the firm draw, then this might not be something you'd like. Uh, it does. Uh, slow down those who are used to a faster burn like myself and I'm not really a fan of the firm But it's for you to decide Stay tuned for the final third Welcome back everybody cigars and whiskey for the final third of our today's review the CAO Italia Chow a small Robusto 5x56 in the final third. There's really no flavor change in the profile uh, we are starting to notice uh, that the Oily and pepperness is coming back a lot more pepper than uh, the second third. Uh, very disappointing with the cigar. Uh, it's not burning very even, and I've had to retouch it up a couple times. Um, it's an okay cigar. I am a fan of CAO, but uh, not so much of the Italia. And it still has a real firm draw, which is not one of my favorite things. Uh, but if you'd like this review, please hit like and subscribe. Also leave your comments. And again, thank you for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey and have a great day. Have a great cigar. We'll see you next time.